What is up guys and gals, this is Brandon back on Motor Nubs and I was trying to get Peyton to come and help me work on his car, I know, I know. <coughs> but he had some things come up and I just can't wait anymore. I'm ready to see this car back up to its at least where it was, if not even more. Uh, and the car in question, if you're new to the channel, it is a 1995 Acura Integra GSR. Uh, it's got a B18C or C1, I guess it was, a block, uh, all original block, and let me pop the hood so we can take a look at it. It's got a broken door handle, of course. Uh oh, I can't pop the hood. I think his hood latch is broken. Uh, I didn't do that, Peyton. I promise. But uh, I guess we don't have to pop the hood for what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm going to be adding some more fuel to this car. It's on a stock fuel pump. It's got 550cc injectors and um, made 270 on the dyno, but it seems to be leaning out now. So we think that's due to the fact that it's uh, the stock fuel pump's probably given up uh, or, or on the process of giving up because just randomly it'll go lean. Um, but he's got a 320 LPH or liter per hour pump somewhere in here. Let me find that. I'll be right back. Okay, so the pump in question for today is the Kimso 320 LPH. Um, it's definitely heavier than the stock pump. It's a little bit thicker, but it uses the same um, electrical connection. So you don't even have to use the, uh, the harness that comes with it. You can just plug the stock plug right into there so let's get to uh, pulling the seats and stuff out of this Integra so we can change this pump out and I do have this pump on my Integra and I have not had any issues with it so far so knock on wood hopefully Peyton will be in the same boat as I am because um, I was running around 260 horsepower and I was not leaning out and I had way more fuel to go so all right so if you've never done a fuel pump on an Integra the easiest way to get to it uh, for a 95 and up Integra, the DCs, uh, DC2s or whatever, uh, is you have to take out these back seats and the fuel pump is actually underneath this bottom seat in the middle. But the first thing is you got to pop these puppies loose right here and get these down. That way we can get these little clips out of the side and pull these whole seat assemblies out. Alright, so here's one of the clips I was talking about and when you pop the seats down, if you look right over here this clip will be in right there and what it does is it keeps this seat from being able to slide over and once it slides over then you can pull it up and out like this and look at that boom got that seat out so it just works the same way on the other side so we'll get this side out and uh, I'll show you how to get the bottom off okay so somebody's definitely been into the back of this car because normally there's a bolt that runs through here to here and it holds the back seat on but this car actually doesn't have that so then you can just kind of lift it forward and well I think it just pulls up and out doesn't it yeah but um you actually don't have to even pull it off the front now we can access this cover panel right here and the, uh, the fuel pump is underneath there well the fuel tank is underneath there so we can access the pump all right, so now once you take the three the three screws that hold this cover down, they're just a Phillips head normal screwdriver, then you can peel this, uh, let me get this out of the way. We can peel this little rubber grommet back and you can actually see the plug for the fuel pump. So let's unplug that, there we go. And we'll have to undo this fuel line and then also unbolt this fuel line um, so once we get those two off, then we can work on getting the bolts that secure the top portion of the hanger assembly. So let me go get a big wrench for that one and some pliers for that one. Okay, be careful to note when you take this uh, banjo nut or bolt out of the hole right here, there will be a washer on the top. And then also there will be a washer on the bottom. Go ahead and grab those and set those to the side because you will need those for sure to put this back together. You don't want to have to go buy those. So now let's take off all these little 8mm nuts and get this thing off here. Or maybe 10mm nuts, sorry. 
All right, so if you see right here, the pump pulls, it doesn't pull straight up, it pulls at an angle. Um, and it actually, see it goes down in like this, and it pulls out like this. Uh, I'm gonna let some gas drain off of the filter right here because it's got a bunch in that little sock filter down at the bottom. And then I'm gonna pull it out and show you all what it's like to swap the actual pump unit. All right, so now that I have the pump out, it literally unplugs right here. Um, You'll have to undo one of these clamps on this little fuel piece right the fuel line right there and then it kind of pulls out from the bottom if that makes sense kind of like like this it pulls out but um, I'll need both hands to do it it's kind of a pain um, and if you need to you can bend the bottom of this a little bit because we'll have to tweak that when the new pump goes in as it is so I'm gonna pop that out and I'll show you what it looked like Alright, so the pump is disconnected from the hanger assembly. I did have to bend it just a little bit on the bottom. Uh, some people say to replace this rubber piece right here, especially if it looks really bad. Um, mine, Mine's decent. It's okay. It'll definitely hold. Uh, but I have taken apart a couple and they're like, you know, the rubber's like, it can come off on your finger when you rub it. And that's time to go get to a little piece of, of uh, fuel line and replace it because you're going to have a problem there later. Um, but Peyton's looks good and uh, also the plug is unscathed. It came out nice and good so the new pump will literally just plug right into there and then to go into the fuel line. We may have to trim this fuel line back a little bit because the new pump is longer. I'll show you that here in a second. Alright guys so I have the pump. I put the sock filter on. There's a little I didn't show you but there's a little like um, clip ring that locks it on down there in the bottom uh, but the stock plug plugged right in so no issues there um, got the clamp on onto there so now we're ready to slide it in and I did go ahead and on the bottom right hold on let's see if I can, I can show you all this right here I kind of took some pliers and I bent that up and I bent that up just to hold the pump a little bit more securely so now it won't be loose in there or anything let's pop it in the car and see if it works all right, so the new pump is installed. Everything's all buttoned up, and let's prime it. Okay, so it's a little bit louder. I don't know if y'all can hear that. I'm gonna do it again. A Little bit louder than the stock pump, but definitely not obnoxious or anything like that. Well, let's start it up. Hold on. He's got a little kill switch. There we go. I just I, I wasn't hitting the kill switch. Ooh, it's hot out here. Now with this uh, new pump and it pushing essentially more or the same pressure i don't know how the air fuels are going to look when we're cruising down the road but i'm going to back out and get going and then i'll be right back all right so now with the fuel pump in the air fuels are all over the place um it's like reading lean and then rich uh i think i think we may need to get the tune actually touched up so i called jay mills and he has no issues with uh going in and taking a look at it and making sure everything's safe because that's the name of the game. We don't want to be blowing up motors now, do we? But um, it's still drivable. Uh, it's a little, maybe a little jerky. Um, I can definitely tell that the new pump has definitely thrown things off a little bit, if that makes if that makes any sense. I, like, I guess we didn't have as much constant pressure with the old pump, because the old pump still worked, don't get me wrong, but I just don't think it was supplying as much continuous flow. Um, but yeah, so that's going to end this episode of Motor Nubs. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that helped you out and uh, looking forward to getting this GSR on the dyno and seeing what she can do. So adios.